Hello, hello, members of Abundance Flash Mob, and thanks and much love to Samantha Bearden for allowing us to come forth and do lives and um, bring our energy uh, through so we can know each other a little bit better. I always think that doing lives is one of the best ways to know your fellow healers out there. And so those of you who don't know who I am, I am Catherine Massell. I'm an intuitive energy healer. I am a spiritual growth catalyst and an ascending earth creatrix. And maybe you've seen some of my posts in this or another group about grounding and the importance of grounding and to be all making sure those of us who are healers and those of us who maybe aren't actively doing healing work on others, but are doing healing work on ourselves, we need to be making sure that we are protecting the integrity of our energy and that we are um, enacting really good energetic boundaries when working on ourselves and doing uh, deeper work in the ascended spiritual realms or in the sacred realms below. And when we are doing energy work on others, because sometimes even the best energy healing that we could be doing on ourselves or others, um, it could be doing more harm than good if we're not grounding and protecting our energies. So uh, one of the ways, I'm gonna just tag somebody real here, uh, here real quick. One of the ways that we are able to ground our energy, one of the most profound ways that we ground our energy is through creating a core of connection to Mother Earth and anchoring our energy there. And this is really, really powerful, but it is not the only way to ground our energies. And so a little bit ago, I received these sacred element activations, these transmissions of very, very high light vibrations coming in to help me when I was asking specifically for different ways to ground into Mother Earth and to protect the integrity of my energy and to form sacred boundaries with my energy and for those of my clients as well. Um, sometimes if we are not having really good boundaries with our energy, and we are not um, properly grounding into the spirit realms or when working in the spirit realms before and after client sessions, or if we're doing a lot of healing work, we have a lot of client sessions, we're seeing a lot of clients, we wanna make sure we are actively grounding our energy throughout the day, not just before and after client sessions. So when you are not doing this, you may, um, like I mentioned before, be doing more harm than good. And you may be feeling things like um, being spaced out, feeling spacey, not in your body, feeling like you're remotely operating your body. You may feel clumsy. You may feel angry for no reason. You may feel um, extra hungry or extra thirsty, emotionally drained, exhausted in body, mind, and spirit. Um, you may experience body aches and pains. Also what I call phantom weight gain is another thing. You also experience an inability to actualize thoughts, feelings, and ideas into form on the 3D plane if you are not actively grounding your energy. If, for instance, you're doing a lot of energy clearing to remove um, resistance to your abundance, that's a very, very general way of talking about this, but if you are performing some sort of energy healing and creating um, that energetic void and trying to bring heightened energies in then to fill that up, aligning you with more abundance, more prosperity, health, well-being, if you are not grounding yourself during or after that exercise, you will not be able to actualize those things on the 3D plane. Um, so it is really important to integrate as we are learning to integrate these higher light codes of energy that are coming into our awareness as we are moving, moving further and faster on the path of planetary ascension. We want to make sure that we are creating more consciousness as healers about grounding and protecting our energy and just how important it is to do that for ourselves and our clients um, because we want to make sure that with all of these higher light transmissions coming in that we can actually utilize them that we can bring them in also in ways that are a lot more comfortable so that we can use all of the energy not just some of it and if we're not grounding our energy we may find that we're not being able to use all of the energy that we're bringing in we're just using some of it because for not protecting and safeguarding our physical bodies, it may feel like it's too much. And so we may just push some of that energy away. So the sacred element that I'm bringing forth to you today is the sacred, sacred element of water. 
I'm going to be doing a master class where I'm going to be bringing for and attuning you to, actually, I'm not attuning you to this energy today. Um, attuning you means that I will give this to you in such a way that it is um, now your energy to take and do for and take it forth and use it with your um, own healing work and spiritual work, but you can also use it on your clients. So in the master class that I have coming up on November 27th at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, I'm going to be doing a grounding and protecting master class, and I'm going to attune you to all four elements of earth, water, fire, and air, so that you may use this and add it to your spiritual toolbox with um, client sessions going forth, and you may use it for yourself um, as, as a loving gift for me. And you're also going to get a lot of grounding tips and techniques. Maybe it'll refresh what you've been doing as a healer. Maybe we'll be bringing in some new information for you as well, but you'll have PDFs to take away that you can use on yourself and others, and it will strengthen and protect the energy bodies and healing grids of your energy and that of your clients. Um, and you're also going to get in this masterclass a group healing of your personal energy grid. It's going to allow you to clear the energy of where you may have taken on um, energy from others, including any entities, um, hooks, cords, attachments on your energy during previous client work. And this can go back very far in time. You'll clear your energy field and you'll be getting an upgrade when you get the light bringer healing essence and empowerment that I'm going to be empowering you with right after we do that clearing and healing. So it's a 90 minute masterclass. It's going to be really fun. It's open to 10 women. There are only seven spots left. So if you're interested in this spot, I will put the link up here and you can secure your spot and make sure you get in there um, before all the spots go away. So that being said, what we are working with here today is the sacred element of water. So earth, air, water, and fire, each of these sacred elements, these sacred realms, corresponds with an archetypal realm. So when you merge, that means they bring forth certain attributes, they govern certain areas. So when you merge with the sacred realm of water, for instance, you are calling forth the energy of the universal fuel of existence. There would be no life here on earth, earth if it wasn't for the element of water, correct? It's like the bloodstream of the earth, water. Um, as humans, we are mostly composed of water. It influences our energy greatly. When you call forth this sacred element, you invite in the attributes of empathic healing, of flow, uh, purification of body, mind, and spirit. You develop more compassion for and connection to the oneness of all that is. When you are strongly aligned with water energy, you call forth greater levels of sensitivity, compassion, adaptability, and deeper feelings of intuitive knowing. When you're imbalanced in this sacred element, when you don't have enough water in your energy, you may have this manifest as being more cynical, more sarcastic, prone to emotional drama, delusion, or even obsessive behavior. And we can learn a great deal from just watching water, watching the movement of water, and how it can seamlessly change flow and direction. And in fact, a way to strengthen the connection of this activation I'm bringing forth today is for you to spend some time in nature. This is a petition for you to actively witness the flow of water in nature, even if you're just popping on a YouTube video and watching a flowing stream, or if you're lucky enough to um, be like me and live somewhere where I have beautiful streams of water all around and a huge lake body of water near my house, um, I get to view in awe um, and great reverence the, the attribute of the sacred element of water all the time. And so that will help you to anchor this energy in if you do that after you receive this activation. And when we observe water in nature, we can view how it seamlessly can change flow and direction, how the strength of water can actually forge a new pathway if it reaches an unmovable obstacle. This is something we can learn and integrate as a metaphor in our own lives. It simply and happily finds a new way to go. We can do the same thing. We can learn how to live in that kind of flow and have adopt that kind of fluidity in our own lives. And from this, we can learn to be flexible rather than fixed in our ideas and our beliefs. Water needs to keep moving. When it stagnates, it can become foul. It can become compromised in its purity. The same thing happens to us. We need to be constantly creating momentum. Those of us who are healers, those who are, of us who are called to be 
light bearers and way showers, we need to create constant momentum in what we are doing. Um, else it can become stagnant for us and we can feel lost. We can feel um, cut off from our divine connection and um, stopping the flow of divinity coming in and arriving here. When we allow our own energy to be stopped in its flow, we can feel sluggish. We can feel unproductive. Yeah. So today, let's call forth the sacred element of water. I ask you to join me with your beautiful energy here today. And let's merge with its seamless adaptability and flow with this sacred element activation. And so, as I mentioned, take the energy of this alignment even further. Allow it to anchor more into your awareness by setting time aside today to observe the flow of water in nature. And with a sense of gratitude and reverence and awe, offer up a silent blessing for this life-sustaining element that fuels our very existence on this planet and for how it keeps us in balance with all of the other sacred elements. So that being said, all you have to do is get yourself very comfortable. Get yourself totally in the moment. And you can do this by following the breath. When we are in the now moment, we are in the moment of pure creation. Creation can only take place in the now moment. So when we do these activations, especially the sacred element activation we're doing today, or any activation, and in order to ground yourself properly, it is best to be in the now moment. So calling back all parts and pieces of yourself anywhere you are in another time or another place, anywhere your energy is off elsewhere, calling back all parts and pieces of you, having them then wash clean in Source Creator's light. And as you simply follow the breath, allow it to take you down more into the present moment awareness. And allow the breath to expand into the heart center. Breathe in the love and light of the support that is with you always. As you take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, allow this to expand into all parts of your body and then gathering it up finally in the heart center. And allow this awareness to go deep down from the heart center all the way through the body and going down and out through the soles of the feet, traveling down through all the layers of the earth through dirt and rock and crystal. And going down to the heart chakra of Mother Earth, allowing your energy to anchor there and connecting in with the unconditional love and support, abundance, knowledge, and wisdom that billions of years of the earth holds for you at this time. And gathering this energy, bringing it up all the way up, back up into the legs, traveling up and back into the heart center once again. And here you allow this energy to expand into every cell of your being, every part of your body, and merging, extending out 360 degrees outside the physical body, expanding in all directions further and faster, past the room you're in, past the building you're in, past the town you're in, past the country, past the planet and merging and becoming one with the entire universe. Expanding out further and faster past the layers of lights beyond the universe. Past all the planes of existence, the rainbow bands of colors in six plane, the pink mist of compassion at the border of the seventh plane and all the way out to the bright white sparkly light, emerging and becoming one with the energy of all that is. And now you are grounded above and below as you receive the sacred element activation of water now. Peter, thank you.
and in your mind's eye, you may be seeing the slow trickle of water in a quiet stream. You may be seeing a rush of water over rocks cascading down into a waterfall. You may see a silent and still placid body of water, smooth as glass, and going deep, deep down. Anchor into whatever imagery is coming up for you at this time, allowing your consciousness to fully soak in this imagery. The sacred element of water is actually communicating to you, speaking to your soul, informing it with its wisdom and knowledge. allowing you to anchor into feelings of more flow in your own life and understanding that there are many aspects of flow, including the ebb, when things may seem less than smooth, sluggish, more unproductive, but in those moments when you experience the ebb, it is more of an invitation and a petition to go inward, to look at resistance and shadow or pain, to see what is stopping your flow, to honor it, to gain the lesson, and then to begin to move forward once again. And that this is a process. And you are receiving, at this time, many different messages to your soul, to the highest version of your higher self, about the archetypal realm of water and what it represents beyond flow. That it is a lifeblood. Water is a lifeblood of this planet. And in order for it to fulfill its purpose, its sole purpose to be the lifeblood of this planet, it must remain in purity, it must have integrity. In order for you to do the great work that you are here to do, you must remain in integrity and in purity, doing everything within your power to do to preserve the authenticity, to be genuine, that that resonates out in ways so profound that they are beyond our understanding. And just allow whatever imagery, whatever messages to come in from the sacred element of water as it speaks to your soul now. And then begin to gently pull your energy back. Start pulling it back down from the realm of the seventh plane and the energy of all that is. Gently pulling your energy back down through the crown of the head. Down through the body. Out through the soles of the feet. Going through all the layers of the earth, all the strata of the earth and back down into the crystal heart of Gaia. And here you can ask Gaia to cleanse or transmute any lingering negative energies that need to be released from this activation. Anything that has been allowed to flow to the surface and in such a way is divinely timed with release in this moment for your highest and best good and so it is. Thank you, Gaia. And now gather this pristine energy and bring it all the way back up, back up through the feet, 
going through all the energy centers, the pathways, the meridians, and the nadis of the body, and going all the way up, informing, recalibrating, upgrading the energies of the physical body, and resonating out in all of the energetic fields outside of the body as well, and taking this energy up to the top of the head. And here you will allow yourself to gently energetically disconnect from this transmission now. And when this feels complete, take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, push the energy down, deep down into the belly, about three inches below the navel and three inches inward. But you allow all of the energy of the sacred element activation to anchor into your physical being so it may be fully utilized. And when you're ready, take another deep breath in. Pushing the energy down once again on the exhale, deep into the belly and allowing yourself to be fully physically grounded and back in your physical body now. And so it is, thank you. And when this feels complete, go ahead and open your eyes. You may want to also drink some water. You may have noticed some things being released here. You may have brought in some really, really interesting imagery or perhaps even some soul messages from the element of water itself. So just take note of what came in for you today. You may want to journal about it if you found this to be a very um, awakening and enlivening and enriching experience. If you want more of these activations, please join me in my masterclass where you will be attuned to all of the sacred element activations of earth, water, fire, and air. And you'll be able to add them to your spiritual toolbox and use them on yourself and use them on others. So I will leave the link up here in the description of the masterclass. I'd love to see you in there. If this calls to you, it's gonna be really powerful and there'll be a lot of value in this class. Um, I hope to see you there. There are seven spots left. So I want to wish you so much love and light. And thank you again, Samantha Bearden, for opening the space to us here. Bye-bye.